What's up guys, it's your boy Damon and welcome back to another Genshin Impact video. And today we're going to be talking about Chi Chi and whether or not you should use this, this little gnome zombie to satisfy your healing needs. Chi Chi has the potential to do a lot of different things and her heals are just ridiculous. But we'll get into that today. As we look at her abilities, she just has her basic attack that you guys can see here, which is just basic, charge attack of course, and her plunge attack. But now let's get into the meat and potatoes. Using the Ice Vein Talisman, Chi Chi brings forth the Herald of Frost dealing cryo damage to nearby enemies. When Chi Chi hits a target with her normal or charged attack, she regenerates HP for all party members and all nearby allied characters. Healing scales based on Chi Chi's attack regenerates HP for current character at regular interval. It also follows the character around, dealing cryo damage to nearby enemies in its path. Now to demonstrate this ability, we have Chi Chi's HP, she's fighting a robot here. But just hit the E here and you guys can see she's taking some damage, but she's gonna regenerate HP at a regular interval, right? 2300 a tick, as you can see currently based on her current attack. We'll wait until this guy stops spinning and then we'll run it. It'll continue to deal cryo damage. And as you deal damage, of course, it also heals. This is what makes her heal so effective. If you're going to be switching to another character, it also helps as well. But Chi Chi, her heal is so, so insane. And it has a lot of burst capability. So if you guys are looking to maximize your Chi Chi, make sure that you guys get as much attack as possible. Well, we look into her ultimate or skill three. Chi Chi releases the Adeptus power sealed within her body, marking nearby enemies with a fortune preserving talisman that deals cryo damage. When enemies affected by this talisman take damage, the character that dealt this damage regenerates HP. Now to demonstrate this ability, we'll use our ultimate here. You guys can see the animation with the heals, and now anytime we deal damage to an enemy, we will also heal as well. This can be very useful if you guys are running mages or any type of other character that needs to deal damage from a distance and recover HP, so you have to pay attention and take advantage when that fortune talisman is present. One of her other talents is when she's attacking, she can apply the Fortune Preserving Talisman to an enemy, as you guys just saw here, which the same thing can apply, just keep in mind that can only happen every 30 seconds when you guys activate that talent. And last but not least, when a character under the effects of her skill 2, Herald of Frost, which is basically R2 for my PS4 players, or E for my PC players, for mobile, you guys just tap in the screen. But when this triggers an elemental reaction, swirl, melt, so on and so forth, the incoming healing bonus is increased by 20% for eight seconds. So if you guys are building around elemental mastery or using utilizing characters for support, uh, this can come into play and make a significant impact on your healing prowess. When we get into her constellations, her constellations just make her insane. Her first one is Aesthetics of Frost. When the Herald of Frost hits an enemy, Marked by a fortune preserving talisman, Chi Chi regenerates two energy. This can be really, really nice for generating your ult pretty quickly. And then her second constellation just increases the amount of damage that Chi Chi's normal and charge attack deals to enemies affected by cryo by 15%. This can be really, really useful if you guys are running multiple ice heroes and or if Chi Chi is going to be your primary DPS. Ascend and Praise increases the skill level of Preserver Fortune by 3. Define Suppression, targets marked by the Fortune Preserving Talisman have their attack decreased by 20%, which will be really, really good in tough boss fights and or abyss floors. And Crimson Lotus increases the Herald of Frost by 3. Maximum upgrade level becomes then 15 instead of 12. Now keep in mind that with these constellations, these are raw improvements to the ability meaning you won't need skill books or anything for these three levels to take effect. And last but not least, the Rite of Resurrection revives all nearby fallen characters and regenerates 50% of their HP, and this effect can only occur every 15 minutes. You can activate this by using Preserver of Fortune, so if you guys are looking to play strategy, this is definitely something that you guys can look at. But now that we've summarized her abilities, let's talk about builds and weapon strategy. So, Chi Chi can be built a variety of ways. I currently just have her on a Gladiator set, forgive me, the Gladiator set that I have on her right now is pretty bad. I would say in terms of ideal stats, I would definitely go for attack percent on the helmet, attack percent on the cup, and attack percent on the hourglass. If you guys are trying to diversify, you guys can go with a physical damage bonus or a cryo damage bonus on the cup. Or if you're deciding to stay with the attack percent on the hourglass or the attack percent on the cup, and you guys are going for crit damage on the helmet, 
then you guys can do that as well. Just make sure that her crit rate is above 50% if you guys are deciding to go that route. Also, one thing you guys will want to make sure is no matter what way you decide to build her in terms of spec, you'll want to make sure that if you decide not to run an attack percent piece on Chi Chi that her substats include attack percent. So for those of you guys who are unfamiliar with substats, substats are just the stats that are underneath the main stat. So if you guys haven't figured out by now, if your main stat is attack percent, you can't have another attack percent on the bottom, just a flat attack and vice versa. So we're looking at a feather. A feather is flat attack, right? So we can't have flat attack again, only attack percent. Those are things that you guys also have to be aware of. But due to the fact that Chi Chi's healing scales off of attack, if you want to maximize her healing while maximizing anything else, you want to make sure that she has attack present. Now, in terms of gear sets, I mean, it's really, it's this, the sky is the limit. You guys can rock with the Gladiator set for DPS. Exile set for energy recharge just for the ultimate spam. Berserker and so on and so forth if you guys are looking for sets pre-adventure rank 40. Post Adventure Rank 40, if you guys are looking at more of a DPS build, you guys can definitely look at Bloodstained Chivalry and or Noblest Oblige. Noblest Oblige is good if you guys are looking to basically buff your party when Chi Chi ults. Martial Artist. Heart of Bravery is a very, very good one, I think, for her just because of the raw attack percentage increase plus the four piece that increases the damage by 30% against enemies that has more than 50% HP. Another one of the same kind of feel here is gonna be the resolution of the Sojourner. Probably my favorite set on Chi Chi is gonna be Maiden Beloved. Uh, this is just gonna increase her overall healing effectiveness and using an elemental skill of burst increases healing received by all party members by 20%. Uh, this is gonna be your raw healing burst here. And you have a lot of options when you get into Maiden Beloved because it, the rest of it is just going to depend on the stats that you guys are looking for. So the same rules are going to apply. Attack percent, attack percent, attack percent, or attack percent, attack percent crit damage, or attack percent physical damage, attack percent, or something like that uh, on your primary pieces. Again, helmet, hourglass, and cup. And then from there, you just basically take all of the benefit of Maiden Beloved with the healing increases. In terms of ideal weapons, you guys can use a Kill of Favonia or if or skyward blade this is what i'm currently using or running on or right now for the maximum energy recharge if you guys are looking at five star weapons in terms of four star weapons i'd probably start to look at the sacrificial sword the battle pass sword favonia sword and or the flute for raw dps she has a ton of different options as to how you can run her or what you can run her on ultimately though it's going to be up to how you decide to fit her in your team chi chi is very 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 versatile and she can be a supreme asset when trying to keep your team alive in sticky situations. As I mentioned before, she is very, very capable of DPS. And if you guys are looking for a character that you can build at both as a healer and as a primary DPS, then look no further than Chi Chi. If you guys are looking to upgrade Chi Chi, Chi Chi requires Violet Grass, Curse Scrolls, which you guys can get from the Mage Hillichurls, and Shivata Jade Slivers, all the way up to Gemstones, and Orfrost Cores, which you guys can also get from the Cryo Regisfine. Those are the materials that you guys will need to ensure that if you guys are planning to pull for Chi Chi, or if you guys happen to get lucky, or if you guys are hoping for Chi Chi, you'll need those mats on hand in order to get her to her maximum potential. So with that being said, that concludes my review for Chi Chi. If you guys got any questions, questions, comments, concerns, definitely let me know in the comment box below and I'd be happy to assist. And with that being said, we will see you guys in the next video. Peace.